Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be testing out an EVGA RTX 2080 Super, specifically the XC Ultra Edition with 8 gigs of GDDR6 memory, which has Samsung. And before I start, I just want to thank SpaceGoat78 yet again for letting me remote into his rigs here and test out these cards because not very many people have these cards and you know I'm not rich enough to buy these cards so <laughs> uh, thanks again SpaceGoat78 for the record I have made a video regarding the RTX 2080 non-super just last week so you guys can go check that out I plan on doing a comparison uh, between the 2060 Super, 2070 Super, and the 2080 Super, which I'm just going to be doing a, a hash rate video for now. And I'll, I'll make another video just comparing all of those hash rates between all the different Super models. So stay tuned for that. But let's get started, guys. Here's my testing methodology here. And I'm using MSI Afterburner, and you can see here I have stock hash rates overclock 1 hash rate and overclock 2. So the notable noticeable difference on overclock 1 and overclock 2 is that I've done uh, 70 power limit and then 50 power limit. And I've done plus 100 core and plus 800 memory uh, for all, all of the other uh, coins here. Um, but for Ethereum we have done minus 200 core and plus 1200 memory. So I've already gone ahead and done the stock and overclock 1 hash rates. Uh, just so I, I, this video doesn't get too long. And as well, I've already done Ravencoin because Ravencoin requires quite a bit longer uh, testing. So here's a one hour average and you guys can see the hash rates here. And if you guys don't want to watch the rest of the video, feel free just to look in the description. I have all of the hash rates and power consumption numbers down below. Feel free to look at that guys and close the video. You guys don't have to watch the rest of the video if you don't want. But if you want to, Come now and look at, I'm going to be doing the Overclock 2 uh, live recording in this video. So we're going to be doing 50 power limit, minus 200 core, plus 1200 memory for Ethereum, okay? So we're going to see what kind of hash rates we get on Ethereum with that number here. So I'm going to assume, so I'm, I have nothing special in the batch file. Um, it's just whatever stock here. I don't think we need RX boost because this is an NVIDIA card. So save that and we just run it and we will see. And you guys can see on the bottom right, here's the EVGA RTX 2080 that um, SpaceGoat78 has a webcam pointed to. But now I have to close this because I think it may slow down our hash rate numbers here. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that. And that should be good. Okay, so at 50 power limit, about 120 watts right now, we are getting 42.4, 42.6, yeah, 42.0, oh, 40, 42.9, so almost 43 mega hash uh, at 120 watts. That's that's really good. Um, but I think this is the same number as the other RTX cards as well, but uh, uh, super cards. So uh, stay tuned for that video, guys. Um, 42 point, I'm just gonna 42.9 uh, mega hash at 120 watts. That's really efficient. Okay, so that is the Ethereum hash rate, my friends. Now uh, here's the Raven coin. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the uh, Vert coin one going here. So. Let me just see here, vert coin, and we gotta drop the clocks down to 50 power limit, plus 100, plus 800 memory, and let's open this up. Okay, so for Raven coin, we were able to get stock 39.13 mega hash at 249 watts. Overclock one, we we're able to get 36.21 at 173 watts. Uh, at overclock two, then we were get, able to get 24.89 mega hash at 123 watts. So I think the most efficient one here would be, I would say, the overclock one for Ravencoin at 36 mega hash. So not too bad. Okay, so now for Vertcoin, we're able to get 72 mega hash at 247 watts, uh, 68.9 mega hash at 175 watts. And now at 125 watts, we are getting 51.89. Uh, 
So, 51.89 mega hash at 125 watts. All right. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I think I think overclock 1 is the better hash rate per watt, I believe, or it may, actually it might be the same. Um, but looks good. All right, next coin, we are going to do Aeon. Good old Aeon. So, we're going to be using G minor for this. Um, there we go. And so stock, we were able to get 328 souls per second at 243 watts. Uh, overclock 1, 330 souls at 175 watts. So it was getting a little bit higher souls than the stock hash rate and much lower power consumption. And now on 50 power limit, we are going to get, I'm going to say 300. My guess is 300 souls. So let's just see here. It's coming up. And boom. Oh, 250. Oh, we've dropped down quite a bit. Okay. 250 souls per second at 125 watts. Uh, at 125 watts. So I bet if we bump this up to 60, 60 power limit, it would probably go up to like maybe 280, 290 in the middle ground between uh, 50 and 60 power limit. I'm thinking but uh, okay so that's the Aeon hash rate my friends pretty good not too bad 250 246 souls okay now let's do uh, zero so zero we are gonna be doing prog pow so this is with the NB minor uh, 25.2 and let's just open up uh, zero here so this is gonna be the one of the different prog pow implementations I'm not sure if this is the same implementation as for Ethereum. It may be different, um, but we, we shall see. Uh, so initially stock, I'm able to get 27.61 mega hash at 250 watts. Uh, overclock one, we're able to get 25.45 mega hash at 175 watts. And overclock two, 50, 50 power limit, we're able to get, uh, looks like 14.53. Ooh. 14. All right, let's put that in. 14.53 mega hash at uh, yeah 125 watts. Okay, good number. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, uh, let's do Bitcoin Gold now. So Bitcoin Gold is using G minor, and here we go. Bitcoin Gold 114.5, 144.5. And stock, we were able to get 96.2 souls per second at 248 watts. Overclock 1 at 70 power limit, we're able to get 87.4 souls at 176 watts. Not too bad. And then at overclock 2, we are going to get, I'm going to say 70, 70, 70 souls per second. That's my guess at 125 watts. Oh, 57. Oh, we've dropped down quite a bit. Okay, so 57, 57 souls at 125 watts. Yeah, that was quite a big, that was quite a big drop off actually. Ah, interesting. Okay. All right, guys. Well, next coin. Um, let's do Bitcoin interest. So we're going to be using the prog miner, uh, 0 0.16 final. And uh, let's see here, prog miner. Here we go. All right, so the Bitcoin interest hash rate is now at 50% power limit is 13.6266 mega hash uh, at 125 watts. So yeah, about the same as the other coins. So yeah, 13 to 14 mega hash. Eh, not too bad. I think the best one would be overclock one. Okay, next test, we're going to do Rio or Rio currency. So we're going to be using XMR stack. And let's see here, start. All right, Ryo or Rio currency. I still don't know how to pronounce their coin. Um, let's go now. So stock, my friends, we're able to get 2,644 2, hashes per second at 250 watts. Overclock one was 2,422 hashes per second at 175 watts. And now at uh, 50 power limit, we are getting... Let me just press H here. 
H for hash rate, 1,560. Uh, 1,609 hashes per second. So definitely it has dropped down quite a bit. Um, let's see here. Yeah, 1,609 at 125 watts. Okay, so pretty much 1,600 hashes. Uh, 1,609 hashes per second at 125 watts. Yeah, I think it's better at overclock one. It seems like all of these algorithms are best at overclock one um, efficiency. All right, let's try Grin, uh, good old Grin. So we're gonna use NB minor, and that is the Kakarude 29 algorithm. Uh, run anyway. Okay, here we go. So stock, we're able to get 8.6 grass per second at 216 watts. Overclock one, we're able to get 9.02 grass per second at 170 watts. And at 50 power limit for overclock 2 setting, we're probably going to get 5.9, 6.97. That's my guess. Nope. 6.03. 6.03 grass per second at 125 watts. It's all going to be 125 watts. <laughs> Uh, good times though. Alright, let's do G minor. We're gonna do beam now. We're gonna be beaming. So beam equihash 150.5 um, algorithm. Um, stock, we're getting 60.5 souls at 247 watts. Uh, overclock 1, we're able to get 61.4 souls at 175 watts. And now at uh, overclock 2, 50 power limit. I'm going to say we're going to be getting 45 souls. 42. 45 to 42. That's my guess. Oh, 40.7 souls. Okay, 40.7 souls at 125 watts. Oops. Very nice, very nice. Okay, um, A Eternity, let's do the next one using G minor. So with A Eternity, we are able to get uh, stock 8.67 at 200, 217 watts. Overclock 1, 9.16 grass per second at 180 watts. And this is the Kaku Cycle algorithm. And this coin used to be pretty popular back in the day. But uh, I don't know about profitability now. Um, but these kind of coins, the Grin, uh, A Eternity, Beam, these Swap, these used to be all, all top coins for sure, uh, for profitability. Okay, so on 50 power limit for A Eternity, we're able to get 6.30 grass per second at 124 watts. 125, probably the same. So, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, let's try zero for some of you zero miners out there. I'm sure there are some of you. Uh, stock, we're able to get 51.7 at 250 watts. Overclock 1 was 147 at 8... 147.8 uh, souls at 173 watts. And at uh, 50 power limit, let's just see here. 31.4 souls at 125 watts. 31.4 souls at 125 watts. Not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, let's do swap. We're gonna use swap using G minor. Going through all the coins, going through all the coins. So, Kakaroo 29S G minor stock 8.61 grass per second at 222 watts. Overclock one, 8.8 .8 grass per second at 160 watts. And overclock two at 50 power limit is 6.3 grass per second, 6.3 grass per second at 125 watts. Okay, so that's swap, my friends. Let's go to Zellcash. So Zellcash, we're able to do 65 souls at stock. And overclock 170 power limit is 60.3 souls at 172. And then overclock 2 at 50 power limit, I'm going to guess is... 40 something. 
36.9 souls. Wow, even lower. Okay, 36.9 souls at 125 watts. All right, Zellcash. That was that was all right. Not too bad. Uh, better at overclock one. All right, Z coin. Good old Z coin. So we're gonna be using T Rex Miner, and that is with X C Z C um, X C Z. That's the short code for Z coin. MTP is the algorithm protocol, and we're using T Rex Miner is the software. So stock, we're at 4.2 mega hash per second at 250 watts. Overclock 1 at 3.8 mega hash at 175 watts. And overclock 2, we are going to see here. And it's quite laggy actually at 50 power limit, this system. So I don't think uh, MTP likes it so much. But we're getting, uh, I think, 2.1 mega hash per second at 125 watts. Kind of kind of low. 2.1 mega hash at 125 watts. All right, that that was the coin. Now, last coin we're gonna do is bite them. And again, we're gonna use T Rex Miner. So good old bite them. Um, we're able able to get stock 14.20, 14.25 kilohash at 246 watts. Uh, overclock one is 12.42 kilohash per second at 175 watts. And overclock two at 50 power limit, we are getting. Ooh, way lower. So seven, uh, seven point three. Uh, yeah, seven point three kilohash. Oh, hashes. Uh, yeah, seven point three. So let me put that in. Seven point three kilohash at one hundred and twenty-five watts. All right. Okay, guys. So that was it. Yeah, it's going a little bit lower, but seven point three is good. Seven point two to seven point three. All right, so those are the hash rates of the RTX 2080 Super, my friends. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these hash rates. Um, I have them all in the description. I will be doing a video regarding the um, hash rates for all of the RTX 20 RTX 2000 series Super cards. Okay, so stay tuned for that. I have the 2060, 2070, and now the 2080 Super, which I'll add to the playlist here. You guys can go check this playlist out if you'd like. I'm going to be adding a lot more cards to this in the future. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. And peace out.